Hey everyone, Fatty from Pack a Punch Traders here with a daily video lesson going over my trades and what else has been hot, what's moving. So let's get into this. Um, one for two on SNOA this morning. Chase a little bit on the open price view offer claim here and pay the price. Had small size, but a little bit of a wide risk. So sixty dollar loss there from two seventeen to one ninety seven. And when it was trying to break the open price and head lower. Not much selling pressure really going on, but I couldn't risk it. It was a pretty wide risk. I didn't want it to keep pushing lower, so cut it really quick. Decided I still have all day if it comes back. We'll trade it if it sets up properly. And that is what happened not much later here. Um, we get a triple bottom, and it starts holding up. Some more demand really comes in. And as it's holding VWAP here, I take another stab at it, 300 shares at 217, and was looking for a push to at least test pre-market highs, but that was really if I were to get into the low twos, that would give me a wider range. But even this here, I was being a little greedy. This is still 10%. I didn't even realize it while I was in the trade. It, I was expecting a more aggressive of a push. And didn't get it, and then I was looking at my phone. It was showing me my um, percentage gain, and I was like, oh, this is just about 10%, a little over. Why don't we just lock this in since we had a loss earlier, and now we're just barely over green. So let's just take this gain. And ended up doing that, sold a couple minutes too soon. Then we got the burst I really wanted. So a little frustrating there, but... Still, good habit to get into just locking in gains. Um, that was just a quick perk, just a fake out, nothing significant. So, it is what it is. But that's the open price of you for claim. I love it for day one plays, first green days, any gappers. Uh, we had ATNF today. This was a great call. I was tweeting a bunch on this play and went over it on live stream midday, which I don't normally do. But had some time today and saw the failure to break down. In the morning live stream, I recognized this was pushing lower on weak volume and barely breaking past the day low at that point. So I was thinking if this really has a hard time breaking down and it comes back, we can get a Cosm style play. Where last week here, we had a nice gap and push, failed to break down, no volume comes through, very weak selling. And it holds up open price, reclaims VWAP, and I had a pretty good trade on this thing, and it just burst. So I was thinking, hey, we might get something similar to that with ATNF, and it was a pretty good call. I thought this was it here, but ended up holding up, making a higher low, and gave a solid burst. I, I didn't play this. I was really focused on COSM for the breakout today, which we'll get into, but... I remember on the live stream thinking, oh, I think this might be done. If I were in to trade this, I wouldn't really be looking to get in it again. I would have just taken my quick gains. But can't argue with the price action, what's going on. We had a pretty steep pullback, held VWAP, selling disappeared. There really wasn't much selling pressure. So this whole move, in hindsight, isn't shocking. Um, but yeah, so... Follow the volume. It's a really good indicator. <laughs> the simplest one, but it's a really good one. Um, COSM, this was my focus, which is why I was kind of hesitant with ATNF and missed it. Here we have a solid multi day breakout. What are we at here? I guess I haven't even shown you guys the daily charts. That's kind of useful to see. Back to SNOA. We got some key areas. In the mid twos here in this run up. So gets the resistance. And then ATNF, we have a recent mover, so we know it can move. First green day with a bit abnormal volume compared to what it was doing. But at the same time, this chart overall is a downtrend. So expected shorts to get trapped into this thing. And if they fail to break it down, we can get a move. And that's exactly what happened with ATNF. 
Um, sorry to get all over the place. Now, back to COSM. Here we have the 642 multi-day breakout. I uh, had a little fake out yesterday, and that was annoying, but continue to hold up. And we got another day with decent demand. I really wanted to see more, and I think that's why it really got stuffed in the low sevens. Approaching the mid sevens, there was some sellers, some short sellers as well. It was a choppy play, and the reason I sold pretty quickly here in the low sevens when I was really wanting a move to test at least mid sevens was besides being up just about 10%, I'll lock my gains in. Look at how this play moves. It's a very fast mover. Once it gets going, it's going. So, when I saw that this play today wasn't really getting going, especially when it was breaking over key areas, 642, 688, 7, psychological area, um, why is it not ripping? It's a low flow play that's breaking key areas. Shorts should get squeezed. So, I found it pretty abnormal and decided to just cut it as I was very tired with every single high here just getting stuffed pretty aggressively this first time. The second time, not bad. But once I saw this fake out, I was fed up. So once it pulled back, I sold right at 712. Entry, um, initial one. Oh, I realized I, f I missed an arrow here. Oops. Um, I already posted this on Twitter. But initial entry, 642. Or no, uh, yeah, 643. And then the other one was, as it was coming back here, I added 50 shares, so brought it up to 150 shares. Was getting into um, 658, I believe, 660. Um, whatever it was, brought my average up to 648. So 648 to 712, 9.8%. I'll take it. Had the opportunity to sell higher, but I really thought we'd get a rip, and we didn't get it, so I reacted with a sell. So not too bad considering, look at how it came back, got stuffed again. So nice to see this still holding up, but this price action makes me very suspicious of this play. Very hard resistance. If it comes back tomorrow and it confirms that area, then I think we'll get a really serious rip, something that... I was expecting today so we'll see if demand can really pick up that'll be key and for it to get back above seven if it can't do those things might be a good recognition of this price action that it could lead to maybe some downwards prices so that was kind of my day oh how can I talk about my day without going over the one I missed I was so focused on SNOA I totally missed ENSC, and I saw this one pretty late. They didn't go through all my scanners this morning. Woke up kind of late, unprepared. So good lesson on being prepared and aware of what's moving, what's not. So totally missed ENSC, ENSC. Low float, low market cap with some news. If you can't tell what I'm about to say, you can see it hopefully. Open price, VWAP reclaim. After this gapped up, failed to break down, very light selling pressure, and that led to a massive, massive move. Totally missed this move. Disappointing, but at least there was some action later on in the day. So it is what it is, but this is what we look for. SNOA, I wanted this clean of a push, but we never got that. It was kind of a frustrating move. So take a picture of this study it this is a recipe for a nice squeeze shorts expect a garbage play here to just head lower has news low float has monster demand um just lining these bullish indicators up put yourself on the right track you can catch yourself a move like this sometimes they won't work sometimes they'll be choppy there'll be some deviations but Overall, line up your indicators, put yourself in the right position, and you can walk away with profits more times than not. Um, 
Lastly here, GOVX. This one was a monster play. Didn't move as much as I thought. I thought this hold and confirmation of the low ones. Right here we have some key areas around 1, 90 cents, 113-ish. Um, that I thought could trigger a bigger move if it fails to break down. Only gave a quick little fake out. Barely got into the 130s. Or got deep in the 130s. Could barely get into the 140s. Not great. So this one didn't turn out like I thought as I was talking about in the live stream. But at the same time, you can tell without demand. You can read the volume. It will tell you what is likely going to happen. Um, but at the same time, look how well this is held up. It's continued to hold the 90s, the 1s, and over 50% of its gains. So that's very nice heading into tomorrow. If demand can really pick up again, and we can have another strong day with demand. It does have the history of moving. We can possibly see a continuation to test maybe the 160s here. Ideally, the 180s. Um, but this one was an incredible uh, play. Totally missed this. Didn't see it till later. I don't even know if there's news or anything. I didn't check it out. Oh, yeah, vaccine patent. Yada, yada. I just follow the price action, really. I sometimes check the news because you never want to be in something that has bad news. But anytime there's something good, I assume it's fluff. This is penny stock land. Everything is garbage. I don't trust any of these companies. I'm just playing the chart, playing the momentum. Um, and that's all we're doing here. So not too bad of a day. Small gains, 108 on the day. But... Better than being red, 60 bucks. So grateful for COSM and SNOA to come back. Could have been more alert and played ENSC and traded ATNF. That was a great call. So could have been a little better, but grateful for how it turned out considering what it could have been. So on to the next one. Uh, next video lesson I'll have out.